Oh, Blinding light from below, a Seminole County Sheriff's helicopter and two pilots inside targeted. This is what it looked like on the receiving end of this laser attack near Orlando Saturday. 19-year-old Trevor Rango now charged with a felony. He said he didn't have a good explanation. Um, you can see in the video he was actually running around and continued to shine the the laser beam at the helicopter. Laser attacks like this are capable of disorienting and temporarily blinding pilots. Vision itself can get washed out for a few seconds, which in and of itself is dangerous, but then there can be these after images causing distortion in the vision for a number of minutes afterwards. It's like a camera flash going off in a pitch black car. The ultimate consequence could be a crash. The number of laser strikes is escalating nationwide, from a jet full of passengers landing in Dallas. It was blue, and they were definitely uh, trying to get it. To New York. The first officer is having vision problems. To a small plane in Las Vegas. It was uh, right in my face. And another police helicopter. This attack in Dallas last year. There's been a more than 1,000 percent surge since the FBI and the FAA started tracking laser strikes in 2005. Last year, nearly 4,000 strikes were reported. That's almost 11 per day. It's estimated thousands more go unreported every year. Regardless of whether it's a malicious act or regardless if it's an innocent act, the effect is exactly the same to me when I'm flying my airplane and I get hit with that laser. As police crack down, the punishments are harsh. In March, a California man was slapped with a 14-year sentence for shining a laser at a police helicopter. In this latest case in Florida, police say Rango told them he didn't realize what he did was so serious. Now he's learning the hard way. All right, well, we reached out to Rango's family, but no comment. The FBI has expanded this operation to nationwide. It's a nationwide crackdown, offering rewards up to $10,000 for information leading to arrests of anyone who aims a laser at an aircraft. We should point out we don't know of any crashes caused by one of these lasers, most likely because there's usually two pilots in the cockpit, but it doesn't make it any less dangerous.